Hello students, welcome back to my video. Today's topic is push down automata. As many of you have requested for this topic, I am recording push down automata. Today we will see how push down automata works. Before going to uh, uh, the topic in detail, we should know the formal definition of push down automata. We have already learned formal definition for uh, finite automata and Moore machine, Milli machine and we have seen uh, formal definition for grammar. Now it's your next machine that is push down automata. Uh, we should know that push down automata is a machine which is used to recognize context free languages. Okay, so coming to formal definition. Formal definition of push down automata is given as Q summation tau q0 z f and delta what is q you know already is set of state what is summation as before is a set of input symbols okay i'll come to this later q0 is initial state f is final state and delta is a transition function here new terminologies are this tau what is this is the set of push down symbols or i can say the set of symbols used in the stack and z is a symbol which is used to show that the stack is empty we usually use r to represent the stack empty delta is transition function we'll see how transition function is represented in push down automata this is how it is represented the function is delta q0 az q0 xz what is the meaning of this what is this this is your current state q0 is your current state a is your current input and z is top of the stack i repeat q0 is initial state a is input symbol z is top of the stack if this is true what is the operation that has to be done it is xz that is push one x to the stack next is delta q0 ax q0 xx if current state is q0 input is a top of the stack is x push x on to the top of the stack and go to next state q0 so what all we represent in, in our state function transition function current state input symbol top of the stack next state and stack operation if i have one at the left hand side and if it becomes 2 at the right hand side, the meaning is it is push operation. We are pushing a symbol onto the stack. How to re represent a pop operation? Current if current state is Q0, input is B, top of the stack is X. If I represent this X as epsilon, means this X has been popped. I hope this is clear. Is push operation and pop operation clear? Okay, next. What is the meaning of this representation? Current state is Q0, input is B, top of the stack is X. Next state is Q1 and operation is X. That is keep X as it is. No push, no pop. How we represent push? If I have one element at the left and two element at the right, it is push operation. One element at the left and epsilon at the right, pop operation. One element at the left and one element at the right, that is no operation. No push, no pop operation. Is this clear? Okay. Then finally, we how to represent the accepting state. Uh, depending on the example what we solve, it may be 
that stack is empty either stack is empty or stack may not be empty to go to the final state okay we'll see this in detail in our examples okay so now how exactly our push down automata works this is our stack this is our stack okay so if i have uh, we'll take uh, pda for a raised to n b raised to n okay so what we'll have for example if i have 2a and 2b and you should remember the end of the string is represented with the blank blank is represented with b dash blank is represented with b dash so now at the beginning the stack is empty to represent stack empty what we write we write r okay so now read one element at a time what we'll read we'll read a and top of the stack is r so we'll push x next read a top of the stack is x push x after a we are reading b now read b what is top of the stack it is x pop it what is the next element b top of the stack is x then pop it to accept the string a raised to n b raised to n when you read a blank the stack should be empty right because we have two a's and two b's when i reach a blank the stack should be empty number of a's i read i pushed number of x if i have read 5 a's i'll be pushing 5x here and if i read 5b here i'll be popping 5x here so when i read a blank that is when the string has ended the stack should be empty that is top of the stack should be r this is the logic behind a raised to n b raised to n see how we write it so as we have seen in the example when i read the first element when i read the first element top of the stack is empty so what i should write start state is q0 and i am reading a top of the stack is empty there i have taken r and here it is z okay so q0 a z here top of the stack is represent empty stack is represented with z so q0 when i read a, a when the stack is empty what we should do we should push an element x onto the stack so this is for the first element that is when i read a element and top of the stack is empty then we are doing this operation so after first a there is something in the stack that is there is at least one x in the stack after we read first a we push one x to the stack after this when we read the next elements that is next a's for example if i have 10a when i read first a the stack is empty so i have pushed one x now when i read second a third a fourth a top of the stack will be x because we have already pushed x for that a 
okay so the second one what we will be writing q0 whenever i read a, a top of the stack is x and above this x will be pushing one more x you have to remember in this that the left represents top of the stack the left represents the operation that you are pushing one x the left represents you are pushing x over this z you are pushing x over this x okay so this is my this uh, whatever we have written transition is for first a and for second to nth a if i take 10 a's second a to 10th a this will be repeated i hope this is clear okay now after reading 10 a's b starts okay so now q0 b obviously top of the stack is x because we have inserted or we have pushed 10 x onto the stack so top of the stack is x here we are representing only top of the stack you have to remember that not all 10 x okay here just it is top of the stack so q0 b x is equal to we are popping that x because whenever we read b we have to pop that okay so q0 b x is equal to q1 epsilon why we are changing the state here can you think about this because we have a constraint in the given equation a raised to n b raised to n what is the meaning of a raised to n b raised to n number of a's followed by number of b's that is once b get started we shouldn't read again a we should have only b's so we need to change the state for that constraint here okay so now this is my first b and this is for my second to nth b i hope this is clear so now we have read 10 a's 10 b's what is our last statement then q1 blank z equals final state z as i have already explained z z no operation just if you read a blank if top of the stack is empty then you have to accept the string i hope this is clear the same thing has been represented here if you see q0 this is this state is q0 q0 on a q0 on a goes to q0 q0 on a goes to q0 top of the stack is z top of the stack is z what is the operation xz xz okay the next one q0 a x q0 is going to q0 q0 is going to q0 on a on a top of the stack is x and operation is xx top of the stack is x operation is xx i hope this is clear q0 is going to q1 on b q0 is going to q1 on b okay and top of the stack is x and you are popping top of the stack is x and you are popping and so on hope this is clear okay